In the Dark Encrypt, we present information on theory and conjecture. We invite you to join us on a journey of exploration and intrigue as we delve into enigmatic phenomena and uncover hidden truths. Please keep in mind that the theories and explanations presented are subject to interpretation and further investigation. Thank you for joining us on this captivating quest into the unknown. Welcome back to the Darkened Crypt. I am your host, Mr. Cornwell. Now before we get this unique party started, thank you ever so much for the shares, likes and subscribers. We truly are blessed. Remember to hit the bell notification button now to get alerted to our latest videos. Ever wondered how a three-toed footprint could send shockwaves through the world of science and beyond? Now get into your safe space and picture this. It's the 1980s and a series of tridactyl footprints have just been discovered in a high-security Russian military installation. Three fingers, three toes, the unmistakable mark of a reptilian humanoid. But how could such a creature penetrate the fortified walls of an alleged Russian facility? It's puzzling, isn't it? But hold on to your seats, for this is just the tip of the iceberg. Our journey takes us deeper into the realm of the inexplicable, bringing us face to face with a new species that challenges our understanding of life as we know it. In fact, these findings have been included in every one of our breaking news films. These researchers and investigators are working tirelessly to help uncover the truth about these little beings, a combined effort that has never previously been seen in all of human history. Now we present to you the latest shocking being, the Incetisoid. Tridactyl, yes, but also winged. So its appearance to a human being thousands of years ago would have actually appeared to the human like a fairy. Yes, you heard that, right, a fairy. Wings. For a moment, consider this. To the illiterate ancients, a being that was dressed and equipped with such many technologies would have appeared to us as an elf or a fairy. Then... As the story is told from person to person, the story begins to take on a life of its own, and today's fairy resembles nothing of the actual fairies of ancient lore. This being, which we'll refer to as an insectoid, exhibits both reptilian and avian characteristics. Listen to these descriptions of this being. Could these insectoids be the stuff of ancient myths and fairy tales? But the story doesn't end there. New revelations suggest the existence of an ancient dwelling, a place that might have been home to these enigmatic beings. Artifacts, clues, and a curious connection to the insectoids of the 80s make for a compelling narrative. And then there's the most surreal twist of all, the discovery of metal implants in what appears to be a female insectoid. The existence of these implants raises questions about their purpose and the advanced technology these tiny beings might have and still do possess. The researchers propose a fascinating theory. These implants could be related to reproduction. Now that mountain miniature Incan city at an elevation of over 4,500 feet, for a human to go this high in the sky on a mountain is treacherous, but whom or what built such an advanced city in detail like the ancient Inca? Humans wouldn't have had the ability to do this unless they were wearing oxygen masks. Altitude sickness is a real dangerous thing. Do not attempt to find this location without a guide. Now they are calling this location a micropolis. This is a new term which describes an advanced tiny city. On August the 15th, 2002, the world witnessed a shocking discovery, and that was in a cornfield located in Crabwood, England. An image of a being with eyes holding a disc and one of the details the whole entire world missed. The beings had three fingers holding a disc. What was the message on the disc? In 2002, a remarkable crop circle appeared overnight in a field near Crabwood, Winchester, Hampshire, England. This intricate design has been exhaustively studied by scholars worldwide. Physicist Richard Taylor from the University of Oregon observed that the nodes of the crop stalks were not merely flattened, but blasted out on one side. This effect could be replicated using localized microwave heating, causing water inside the crop to vaporize and dislodge, resulting in the stock flopping over one. 
British computer consultant Paul Vigai discovered that the message encoded in the crop circle was in ACI binary code 1. Physicist Mia Pitkonen from the University of Helsinki decoded the message, which consists of two parts, an alien picture, a spiral-like bit sequence starting from the center and proceeding counterclockwise. The decoded message reads as follows. Beware the bearers of false gifts and their broken promises. Much pain, but still time. Ely, you've. There is good out there. We oppose deception. Conduit closing. One. Let us all collectively take a breath. Now let us ponder the great possibility that we were told to prepare in 2002. Are we slowly becoming accustomed to the idea that these are the beings whom we have been living with without our awareness? Are these the ancient fairies and elves of old? This could very well be a possibility. I told you 2024 was going to be an amazing year of speculation and conjecture, sprinkled with some salt of truth. Deep within the remote mountains of South America, a hidden marvel has been unveiled. A micropolis, a miniature city mirroring the grandeur of an ancient civilization. This micropolis holds the secrets of a forgotten era, where the ingenuity of ancient architects is brought to life. But what role did these fairies play in this ancient empire? Were they mere folklore or something more? Is this an ancient city of tiny beings who could survive in Lower Oxkian due to their sheer miniature stature? The images showcase fairies interacting with the people of the Micropolis, suggesting a deeper connection. Could these fairies have been revered beings, guiding the inhabitants with their wisdom and knowledge? Their wings, a symbol of grace and wonder, may have held secrets beyond our comprehension. These fairies, whether mythical or real, left an indelible mark on the people and the culture of the Micropolis. The images fade, leaving behind a sense of mystery and intrigue. As we explore the Micropolis and delve into the enigma of the fairies, we unravel a story that challenges our understanding of the past. So, what have we learned? The tridactyl footprints, the wings, the ancient dwelling, the metal implants, they all point to a fascinating possibility. Perhaps these insectoids have been here all along, subtly weaving their existence into the fabric of our world. In the end, the mystery of the tridactyl footprints offers more questions than answers. But isn't that the beauty of exploring the unknown? The insectoids with their reptilian features, avian wings, and advanced technology challenge our understanding of life beyond our planet. And perhaps, just perhaps, they offer a tantalizing glimpse into the mysteries that await us in the cosmos.